we need to start by getting VirtualBox, which you can get uh, off the internet. So just go to your favorite search engine and search for VirtualBox. You'll want to go to the download page. Uh, if you are using Google, you'll see a download page right here. So we'll click Downloads, and you'll see it's virtualbox.org slash wiki slash downloads. You'll want to get the version of VirtualBox for your operating system, which is likely to be Windows. So you're going to say uh, VirtualBox for Windows hosts. So you click on this link right over here. And it'll say this file may harm your computer. You'll want to keep that. That's okay. And what you're going to do is you're going to wait for it to download. Um, so wait for it to finish downloading before you do anything else. Okay, we have a few seconds left before this will finish downloading. Once it completes downloading, we need to um, click on this link. So once this thing is completely downloaded, you will be able to click on it, and you'll be able to run this file. Let's say run. So we'll just follow the instructions on the screen. We'll typically just say next. So we'll say next here. And we don't even need to look at what this says. We'll just say next. And it's okay to say next. That's fine. And it'll ask us uh, to install network interfaces, which will reset your network connections. So you shouldn't be downloading anything at this moment in time. So we'll say yes. And click on install. And once this is installed, the idea behind VirtualBox is it lets you run a computer within a computer. So you can run an operating system without worrying about uh, partitioning. So it's a very safe way to install Linux on your machine, which is why we're going to use it for this class. Looks like it's almost done. OK, so let's run this program. Let's click Finish. Okay, here we go, and here's our new virtual box. Um, I already have a virtual machine already installed. Yours will probably be empty. You might see something empty right here, um, but don't worry about that. So now you have virtual box. The next thing we need to do is to install an operating system for this uh, for the virtual box. So that's in the next video.